and welcome back. This is part two of my video about how I wrote a paper in a day. If you haven't seen the first video, be sure to check the link in the description. And this video is about how I did it. Because a lot of you might be thinking, that's really cool that you did it, but how do I go about doing it? So on the day that I was recording, I gave several tips that just didn't make it to the last video. So this video, I'm going to share with you some of the insights that I gleaned when I was actually doing it. So without further ado, let's go to my past self. I think I'm going to um, kind of summarize what I think are the key things that help me to really make this happen quickly. Number one, I turned off all notifications for everything. So my email was closed. I've got two emails and I closed both of them. I didn't turn on Twitter. I didn't have Facebook. I didn't have any of these sort of distractions that could distract me from doing this. Um, and there were a couple times where I was struggling with writing something and that's when I am most tempted to waste time and do something else. And in fact, in those times, I ended up checking my email and I said, oh shoot, I can't, I shouldn't be checking my email. Um, so that's one thing is just turn off everything else. Uh, number two, I would think that this never would have happened. I never would have written an entire paper if I didn't just make a goal to do it. So. I don't remember when the idea came, maybe a month or six weeks ago, I said, I ought to just write a paper in a day. And the idea was six weeks ago. Why haven't I done it yet? Because I kept saying, oh, well, you know, I, I got to prepare these PowerPoints or I got to prepare videos for this or I got to write this paper, I got to do this. And there's always things that are going to get in the way. And there are always things that are going to seem more important than doing this sort of a thing. And so what did I do? I just said, all right, I'm, I'm clearing my schedule on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And sure, I'm going to fall behind in other things, but that's okay. I'm just going to do it. So I'd make the same recommendation to you. If you want to do something like this, or if you just want to make a lot of progress on writing something, block out the time. Schedule it and don't let anybody interfere with that. Don't schedule any meetings for that time. Just block it out. That's tip number two. Tip number three is to do one task of the writing process at a time. So again, when I was brainstorming, that's all I was doing. I wasn't writing out catchy, clever phrases that I thought would be hilarious to put in the paper. I wasn't outlining. I was just throwing ideas down there and that's all I was doing. I wasn't looking for references. I wasn't looking for graphics to add to my paper. I wasn't doing any of that. I was just throwing it down there. And then when I was outlining, that's all I was doing. I was just sorting them in order and not even worrying about complete sentences. I was just getting my thoughts down. And then once it came to writing, I wasn't looking up references. I wasn't trying to find other papers that were saying similar things. I wasn't producing graphics. I did produce a table and that cost me a lot of time, but that, and that could have waited until afterward. Um, because every time you do that, you are halting your momentum in one thing and then engaging your momentum in another thing. And then you, when you flip back and forth, you never get that momentum. At least that's how it works for me. And so I have no doubt that when I come back to the references part, that I'm going to fly through those because that's what my mind is going to be engaged in. And it might take an hour, it might take two hours, who knows, but I'm going to get those done pretty quick because that's all I'm going to do. So I thought about this uh, before I made the video because I have been there with collaborators and you know, I might write something and then hand it to them and they're giving me feedback and then they are um, doing the track changes thing in Word and trying to give advice about what I should say instead of what I said. And I will watch them writing and what they will do is they will sit there and say, there is some evidence and then they'll just pause and look at the screen, trying to think of a way to say what they want to say. And I don't do that. Um, I just like my fingers can't keep up with my thoughts. So part of that is, um, you know, it's just natural ability. Like my mind just goes a million miles an hour. That's just how my mind works. And so that I'm sure explains a lot of the variance and why I'm able to write so fast. But it's also practice because I have many years as a novelist, many years as a graduate student, many years as a professor of writing and lots and lots of writing. And I remember in high school, we used to do these exercises um, called brain dumps or whatever, that it was stream of consciousness writing. You just write and you don't care about what you're writing about. You don't care about how good it is. You don't care about how 
uh, poetic it is, anything, you just write. And even if it's stupid, and even you, if you just say the, 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 you keep writing that until some other thought comes to mind, then you write that. And so, um, I think that's good practice if you're, if you're in the habit of just kind of sitting there and waiting until your brain comes up with the right words. And I think one, so one way to overcome that is just practice. They, you know, maybe do these stream of consciousness writing activities or just write lots and lots of papers. Um, so that's one thing, again, practice. Uh, a second thing I think that really, really helps is to have that outline in advance. And so I knew the entire time I was writing exactly where I was going. And so I didn't have to stop there and think about what am I gonna write next? Because I knew what I was gonna write next because that's what the outline says. The outline tells me what I am to write next. And so my first iteration might not have been pretty, it might not have been well articulated, and that's okay. It's okay if your writing really sucks the first go around. Again, the idea is to just pump it out, because what happens when you pump it out and you get your first draft, I don't know about you, but it just feels amazing. It's like, wow, that was a huge hurdle to this publication, and I just passed it. The rest is easy. And it really is, at least for me, it's, it's easy from that point. Um, then it's just a matter of editing and anybody, once the ideas are there, once you don't have to worry about whether this paper has good ideas, because you know they have good ideas because they're all there, you just have to change the way that it's said. And that's an easier task, I think. Again, this is me talking from my brain, how my brain works, giving advice to you, and your brain doesn't work the same way as mine, but that's okay, you know, we're all, um, we're all learning, we're all, we all got our own strengths and we all got our own weaknesses, so anyway. I guess that concludes my video. Uh, be sure to, I would actually like normally, I don't like asking for comments because it feels desperate. Please comment and subscribe. Let me think I'm popular. Um, I normally don't ask for comments, but I genuinely want to know from you, um, A, if this is helpful, if this kind of made some light bulbs go off and wow, this is helpful, in which case I might actually incorporate in um, some of these strategies into my teaching. And if not, and this is the more important reason I want you to comment, is so that future people who read the comments, and if you're not like me, and if the strategies that I say don't work for you, please let other people know, yeah, that doesn't work for me. My brain works differently, and this has helped, because that's gonna help other people, so anyway. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it's inspired you to try to do something so bold and audacious as writing a paper in a day. So again, I'd recommend that you just block out the time and do it. Be sure to let me know if you do do it and how successful you are, and I'll see you next time.